Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Don't take this seriously. This is a bit of fun. But um, see what you think. If you look at the Orchid Show video that I've just done, um, by the time I post this one, I'll give you a, a time slot so that you can wind yourself through. But on there is supposedly a Dendrobium Hercoglossum. Well, that's mine. This is what the new growths look like. And as they get older, they start to arch over. Um, these are not big fat canes. Now, I've had this plant a long time. It's not going to change its shape. This is, in my opinion, how it grows. So these are the size that the canes get to. Um, now, obviously... Oh, is that another kiki on there? Yep. Yay! <laughs> Anybody want a hercoglossum? <laughs> I didn't notice that. That one snuck in there. I've actually got one in a pot already. I could... Is that big enough to take off? That is, actually. I could take that off and put it in the same pot. That makes it a more viable pot full then, doesn't it? Anyway, what I was getting to is that if you look at what my plant looks like, and there's no doubt this is Dendrobium hergoglossum, <clears throat> you have a look at the colour of my blooms. I'll put a pop-up, yeah? And the shape of the blooms. And you can't do size, can you? Anyway, somebody had what was labelled as Dendrobium hercoglossum in the show, firstly, in bloom. Which just set off a little alarm bell for me. What I thought, And it's a mass blooming too. It's covered in blooms. And I thought, what the hell's that doing blooming this time of year? That's not right. That's not when it blooms. This is a late spring bloomer. And I thought, well, that's odd. Then I had a look at the blooms, and they were sort of like only two-thirds the size of mine, and so pale they were almost white. And now I looked at the size of the canes. Now, OK, it, it had been trained upright in a pot. Well, you, you'll, as I say, I might even cut the clip out and put it in the corner of this video so you can compare the two. But in my mind, I was questioning whether it was Dendrobium hercoglossum and whether it had been incorrectly labelled. <laughs> then I had a look and saw whose plant it was, and I thought, well, there's no way he's got that wrong. Unless it's the only one he's ever had, and it's just always been labelled wrong. But it was one of Jeff Hand's plants. Now, he is in the process of being awarded the National Collection of Dendrobiums. So he's my man. If I want to know something locally, you know, about Dendrobiums, I go and ask him, because the chances are he's got, he's got it. If he's going to be awarded the National Collection, there's not going to be many Dendrobium species around that are available for culture that he hasn't got. But, that's what mine looks like. And I've had it quite a few years now. And it blooms regular at an appropriate time. And his looked nothing like that at all. And the blooms didn't look like mine either, so... Well, mine's not wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty confident mine was tagged correctly, bearing in mind where it came from. Anyway, we get these problems sometimes at shows where, you know, somebody has been acquired a plant perhaps 10 years ago and it had a tag on it that was wrong and they've never queried it. So it's always been called that in their book. And it's only when you put a couple of plants together that you sort of think, well, if that one is that then that one can't be, because they're nowhere near the same. Now, within species, you do get a little bit of variety. You know, it can depend on... It can even depend on height above sea level. And a lot of dendrobiums, their temperature range is quite vast. You know, they, they, they can grow from quite low down to quite high up. Well, in some places, when you get high, you start getting into the montane forest environment which is not warm it's quite cool and misty and foggy and damp you know it's a different type of environment to farther down the mountainside shall we say but some dendrobium species can be found in quite a few different environments and it could be those environments that provide the variety within the species blooms and possibly their plant size as well so you know there is variety there but uh 
Anyway, see what you think. <laughs> And anybody else who's got Hercoglossum that they've seen it bloom, there's a good one. Yeah, if you've got this and you've had blooms and you've got a decent picture, which does your one look like? What mine looks like or what Jeff's looks like? Because they are quite different. All good fun. <laughs>